The city should be thought of as a living organism, consuming water and food, producing waste, possibly suffering from high temperatures if the green space is inadequate in the city, suffering from clogging of the arteries if the transport corridors are not good enough, possibly becoming obese and energy inefficient. In a truly sustainable city of say half a million to two million, the public transport system is going to be critical. These spokes represent the heavy electric rail, the train corridors. They have regular stops, but they're fast and particularly service interchanges where they cross the concentric red circuits, which are bus or tram routes. In the CBD, the buses are completely replaced by trams. The population and business activity were most dense around these interchanges. Bike and gopher ways are built in conjunction with the arterial roads as well as using opportunities for cycleways along watercourses and through parks. Community gardens and farmers markets are placed close by the key public transport interchanges so everyone can easily access places to grow and buy their food. Now high density population will follow the transport corridor and at the periphery of the urban area there will be some areas which would be poorly serviced so the rural zone is allowed to remain there giving a scalloped edge to the urban boundary. Water is captured on the roofs for direct use in homes and gardens and stormwater is captured, filtered and injected into underground aquifers. That water will then be drawn upon during the summer for irrigation use by councils, schools and community gardens. Sewage water and organic waste in the form of food scraps, human manure, urine and green waste are treated in strategically located facilities on the periphery of the urban area and returned to the city or nearby farms as compost and recycled water. Modern recycling techniques are capable of providing nutrients and water which can be safely used in food production. With refinement, they can do it with a minimum of energy expenditure and nutrient loss. Here in Australia, the capture and storage of stormwater and recycling of water from sewage is a critical issue in terms of creating sustainable cities. Urban orchards will particularly enable recycled wastewater to be harnessed to produce food and build resilience to climate change. So much of the city's food and water requirement is provided from its own organic waste and wastewater. Urban and peri-urban food producing areas are protected from urban development by powerful legislation that prevents producers from being driven off their land by higher rates and taxes. 